side and the non-union side. The union side has a rules that are written out, and if they follow the procedures, most of the things that they're trying to be addressed would be addressed. Number one, if a driver has an issue, at the end of his day, if it's not a major issue and he hasn't called out to the transfer center to, to dispatch to us for us to go get the bus off the road or replace it, he should bring it over to the maintenance, he or she, whoever it is, should bring it over to the maintenance side, talk with the maintenance person on duty to allow them to look at the repair that needs to be made or make sure it's put out of service. When they sign that paper, once the paper is, the repair is written up, it has to be signed by the maintenance department. So if they're saying they're writing this up and it's not, either the bus is grounded or it may be parts that have to be ordered, which our buses are unique. They're only manufactured by Gillick in some instances and we have to wait for those. Sometimes it's six months. Not once have I ever heard of any frame being cracked on any bus. Our buses have stainless steel chassis that don't allow them to actually crack. So there's a a cap that sits on top of the frame, okay, and there's not a person in my department, and I stand here and say, would well, send anything out like that, okay? Mr. Brown is not aware of some of the stuff that he is making accusations of, and I can stand here 100% and guarantee you that because I'll give a report when we have our staff meeting, or I'll email it to him and let him know what's going on with the major issues of the buses. People don't understand budgeting and how the budget comes out, you all are looking at it from a different perspective. They're looking at it as a wish list. The buses that we just replaced cost $545,000 for each bus. We have a fleet of 17 buses. Now, if we were to go and replace each one of those buses, how could we afford that? You all see the budget numbers. You know, deep down inside, there's no way unless somebody came and said, we're just donating this money, get those buses. Once you order a bus, it takes at least one year before you can even see the bus. So with all these accusations, yes, there may be some leaks. Yes, they, they're old. They're, old. they're more than 12 years old in some instances. But we replace those parts as fast as we can. Engines, uh, just to replace an engine, it's over $35,000. So for us to just say, just go put new engines and everything. We did that once. And some of those are still bad. And we, and we got an American built and spent $150,000 on five engines and had them all put in. And they don't always work perfectly. But to the people such as Cheryl that need transportation, we try our best to provide her with reasonable accommodations at all times. And yes, there's a shortage of people who are willing to work in our community not just at our transit agency, because the transit world, when you communicate with them, there's a different understanding. The transit world doesn't operate the same way as other people operate. Just go here this day and that's it. That's not how it works. There's people on demand. There's people that go somewhere and get stuck and they call, hey, I need a ride. I need you all to help me. So yes, there's different nuances of how we have to try and reach out to our customers in the Jackson County area seven days a week and yes there's some people who call off who you don't know they're going to call off or had an emergency so yes your schedule may change but that doesn't mean that the people don't care about you you know when people such as myself signed up to take this job i didn't ask to say i'm gonna get a pat on the back every week at the end of my week i said i'm gonna come to work and you're gonna pay me a salary and if i accept that and I chose to go to work, and you pay me my money, and that's what I would accept it. I'm not here to say that people don't do a great job. I'm also saying that we have implemented, since I've been there, an employee of the month to make sure that those people who have done above and beyond and an outstanding job try to become recognized. We, we've had to We've had to take and increase it to accommodate the, to, to raise the prices of what it costs to, to go out to eat or something like that. But we do that to try and let them know that, we're, that they're appreciated. If a person says that it's an open door policy, that means you can come sit down and talk. Those people who say those, people who say those things have not been willing to step up and face the problems that they have. 
I suggest to my employees, or the people I work with, because I'm just one of them, but just in a different title, that if you have a problem, come to me also with a solution, because my solution may not be your best solution, and you will feel like I did not do anything about what you brought to me. So those are different opportunities that I present to people. Not once have the people who claim to have an issue, and definitely not some of those things that he read, have even approached or came to anybody to say, this is an issue. But I can guarantee you, to all of my knowledge, and I guarantee you that nobody has even come close to addressing Mr. Brown saying that any of these buses have those issues. That's not even close. And in order to pass a DOT inspection, some of the people who are making some of those accusations probably does, doesn't know what it takes to pass a DOT inspection. Every morning, our drivers must complete a sheet as they go around and do their checks. And they are checking off to say that this bus is ready to drive. So if they're doing that and, and saying that it's not road worthy, we have to park it. But if they're just going through and checking the list and driving, they're not doing their job as well. And us as the maintenance staff wouldn't have the opportunity to correct it if we don't know about it. But as in management, if they're not bringing any problems to us that we don't know about it, we definitely don't have 